Welcome everyone. Going to give it some time, let some people get in here a little bit, but we are here to do the opening of a box here of 1992 Flare Ultra Baseball cards. How you doing, Andrew? Welcome. Welcome, everybody. We are here today to do an unboxing. We got a whole box of 1992 Flair Ultra Cards Series 1. Donated to the channel from our good friend in the Discord, Nanya. I greatly appreciate everything that you guys do at the Mustard Mafia. And he thought it'd be cool because he's seen me do some openings of the baseball card on opening day. Hello, cat. So he sent me this box and I thought it'd be cool to do a little live stream and a little hangout. And we can sit here and chit chat and watch me open some cards. And we are looking for one card in particular. There is a 19, there's a Ken Griffey Jr. card that's in here. Hello, Alyssa. Welcome to the live stream. Thought I'd try and dress the unveiling area up a little bit with some baseball memorabilia I have. in here Bang. all right the crinkling of the paper definitely attracted the cats so you might get a cat in the camera here once in a while I'll shoo them away here wow Collect Tony Gwynn and award-winning limited edition subsets. Well, here we go, everybody. The first pack. Oh, I remember these cards now that I'm looking at them. All right, these are from 1992, everyone, so... Man, that was a long time ago. 1992 is when I graduated from high school. So I'll know some of these players. Okay. Ken Committee. Jim Anus. Todd Zeal. I remember Todd Zeal. Mark Witten. Spike Owens. Royce Clayton. Ryan Lankford. I remember Ryan Lankford for sure. Tony Fernandez. Ooh, Carl Ripken Jr. He's definitely one of the one of the greats. That's a cool one. I'll put that aside. I don't think it's worth gonna be worth too much or anything. Like I said, there's nothing really special in these sets, but I thought it'd be cool to do a, a box breaking with everyone. Thanks, Crit. I appreciate that. All right. Pack number two. Hope everybody had a great day today. If you missed it earlier, I'm not sure YouTube is going to let me put that stream up there because of certain things that were on it, but Jag and I went to... 
Hash Bash in Ann Arbor, Michigan. That was super fun. Yay, Dave Bergen. I'm going to keep all my tigers aside. That's what I should have did. I totally forgot to do that. But let's put all the tigers aside. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the Reds players that I get aside to. And I'll send those to Charlie. Jim Tomei. Here's another really, really good player. Kirby Puckett. Man, I remember Kirby Puckett. Remember, I thought Kirby Puckett was like blind in one eye or went blind in one eye. And I think that's what put him out. But he was another great player. Todd Vanderpool. I remember him. Oh, he's are bringing back so many memories. There you go, Charlie. That one's for you. Paul O'Neill. We'll keep him aside. Braves. Good old days with the Braves. <laughs> Charlie will just have to pay tax on the cards. How's that? Whatever the value is, he's going to pay the tax on them. Glaucoma, that's what it was. The Kirby Pucket? Let me go back and look and see. Usually on the back of them, you can tell. Let's see. Kirby Pucket. Uh, it's got a 91 on it, so it might be. We'll put them aside. If I wasn't using my phone to record, I would have had my other app that I downloaded. Where you can just scan a card and it tells you, tells you the value of it. Or at least what the last one sold for. Oh, Jim Tomei one. Okay. Let me see. Du, 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 du. Where'd he go? There he is. Jim. Oh, yeah. Kind of hard to see, but right there. Yeah, there's a little rookie thing right there. We'll have to look out for those. Put you over there, Kirby. We'll put you back in the pile with your eyes. Sorry about your eyes, sir. Greg Harris. Lance Parrish. Man, Lance Parrish was a good old Tiger player for me. Kind of weird to see him in a... California Angels outfit. I totally forgot that he got traded there. Lonnie Smith. <clears throat> Ooh, Frank Thomas, my favorite player. Matt Noakes. I remember Matt Noakes. Jamie DeVaro. Ooh, Travis Fryman. He's another Tiger. Kind of crazy. They got him in like the same position almost. Oh, there we go. There's a Tony Gwynn Memorial card. Commemorative series. Number five of ten. Jack Dow. There's another rookie. Mike Mussina. I remember Mike Mussina too. Man. <clears throat> Memories just coming back. This is about the time that I was pretty, not serious, but somewhat serious and collecting cards too. So these are definitely some of the players I remember. David Howard, that's a rookie card. Don't remember David Howard too much. Royals. We'll put them aside. <clears throat> Chili Davis. One of the cooler names in baseball, Chili Davis. We have a lot of cards to get through here. <clears throat> they must have made a lot of these cards when they produced them back in the day. That's why they're not worth too much anymore, really. They're nice cards. They're really thick stock. 
the gloss is really nice on them. The corners are unforgiving though. Felix right there. Don Slaughter. I remember him. And a mustache on that guy. Jeremy Clark. Seho. Devin White. There you go. There's another red for Charlie. Hall, Dante Bichette, I remember that. There's another tiger for me, Milt Kyler. Man. Definitely going to have to add these to my, uh, all the tigers, I'm going to add to my collection for sure. Yeah, it was a hot time to for baseball cards back then. There was a lot, a lot of baseball cards. I mean, there's a lot nowadays. But they do such limited runs on these cards and boxes that they have. I mean, I've watched some streams and I've watched some shorts and just some videos of guys opening boxes. And they're paying like over $1,000 for a box and you only get like one or two cards in them. Gino Petrella. Okay. Joe Carter. Those are cool uniforms. Those are really cool Blue Jay uniforms. Dunstan, Xavier Hernandez. Mets. I love the pinstripe. Daryl Strawberry. How's your nose doing, buddy? I was one away from a rookie card for him. Chris, Stephen Decker, Lee Smith, Michelle, Mike Maddox. I wonder if he's related to Greg Maddox at all. Gary Gaetti. Yeah, we got quite the pile over here so far. That was quite the experience today. Ooh. Going there at Hash Bash. I haven't been there in years. and Jack kind of warned me a little bit how uh, political it was going to be. But I didn't think it was going to be that bad. So It was really cool to see all the independent vendors there, though, doing their thing. Because that's the way it used to be. There's another rookie we got off the bat. Anthony Young. We'll put him aside. Dale Murphy. That's a great old name in baseball. I love the old Phillies uniforms. They're really cool. Dennis Martinez. Will Clark, another great, great player. Brian Smith. Doug Drayback. Man, it must have been the year of the mustaches. There's a lot of thick, thick mustaches on these guys. Here's another one. Brian Harvey, Dwayne Ward, Don Mattingly. There's another famous mustache baseball player. Paul Molitor. Man, I remember all these guys now. Oh, Cecil Fielder. Nice. I know he ain't really worth nothing, but to me, Cecil Fielder was one of a great player for us, for our Tigers. Too bad his son was a complete flop. There was a lot of hope for him when he was out when he was on our team. Big man swinging a stick. Do, do, do. 1992. What was everybody doing in 1992? Like I said, that was the year I graduated. So, there's another Anthony Young rookie. So, we got a double of that right off the bat. And we're starting to see some more doubles coming in here. 
It's almost like the same pack that I got back to back. It is pretty much the same pack. That's pretty crazy. Because it's Mustache Man again. Pat Kelly, Billy Splash. <laughs> Critical Beam 5, huh? Nanya, I knew you were pretty close to the same age as I was. Or am. Yeah, 1992. A crazy year. That's where I met my ex-wife. Willie McGee. I remember Willie McGee. Another base stealer. Fast base stealer. Steve Sachs. Saxophone. Robin Yacht. Yeah, I see that. Ooh, Lou Whitaker. Sweet, sweet Lou Whitaker. Him and Alan Trammell. Some of the best combinations for double plays. Shortstop, second baseman. Pretty cool. I'm getting a lot of Tigers, at least. <laughs> Willie McGee. He did look like E.T. Look at him. He's even got the long fingers there. Phone home. <laughs> All right, Don Paul, Billy Ripken, Sandy Alomar Jr. I definitely remember him. Kevin Apier, Rick Aguilera, Harold Baines. I remember him. Man, the poor athletics. I don't know if anybody else follows baseball or even has a hint to what's going on, but the athletics, I think they had maybe 54 people attend one of their games. They're in really, really bad shape. But we're, there we go. Another red for Charlie. I did see, though, that... Vegas is tearing down a casino, and they're going to be putting a baseball stadium in there. So I don't know what their future plans are. If they're maybe they're getting a baseball team in Vegas pretty soon, who knows? <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't a WNBA game. It's a professional game. Me and Jack were talking about it on the way home a little bit. He was telling me that they, their like budget for their for the baseball team is under twenty million dollars. Their players on certain teams that are getting paid more than the whole entire team are getting played. So no wonder nobody wants to come and see them. They don't have any talent or any hope of winning. Oh, Ivan Rodriguez. I remember him. That's a cool little rookie card to have. Pretty good little rookie season in here, 92. Ivan Rodriguez. He was a good catcher. Put him over in the maybe worth something pile. But like I said, it's really not what these cards are worth to me. It's more the experience. And yeah, that's definitely a rookie card. You can tell there. More the experience and the hangout with you guys. I like opening any of these packs up anyway. Kurt Schilling, I remember him. Plus, it gives us all a nice little chill session to just to sit here, chill, talk out. Hang out, I mean, not talk out, hang out. Ooh, Ozzy Smith, the wizard. Barry Bonds, look at that. Barry Bonds before the roids or during the roids? What do you think? He's 92, so kind of hard to tell. I'm going to say maybe getting into him. I'm not sure what Charlie's doing. He was in Discord a little bit ago. But he may be working. 
I don't know if there's a game either. <laughs> Fred McGriff, crime dog. Crit, you are right. Yeah, he probably was just dabbling into or getting into or full-fledged droids. It's unfortunate. There was a comedian a while ago, and I, a comedian or somebody, I can't remember who it said, they, they, there needs to be a league where guys can do whatever they want. Juice them up as much as they possibly can get juiced up and just let them go. Starting to get into the ones that I really don't know. Todd Stottlemyre, I remember him. Rio. Matt Noakes again. Jamie Navarro. And another Tiger. Travis Fryman. Did I miss a red? Yeah, I did. There's a red. Thought I missed a red for Charlie. Okay. Matt Noakes. Jamie Navarro, Jack McDowell, nice, Mike Mussina, that's a rookie, we'll throw him up there, Elias Berg, Are you talking about Barry Bonds? Yeah, Barry Bonds was a great player. Andy Bennis. Mo Vaughn. Remember Mo Vaughn too. Here's another rookie card. Boston Red Sox. Another big man. Yeah, this was a really good era for baseball. I, I will definitely say that. And I'm ooh, look, two rookies in a row. Back to back rookie hits, y'all. Oh, I got a really good card coming up for Charlie. I wish he was here because this is definitely gonna be his card. I do not remember Eddie Zoski. This is definitely one guy I do not remember. We'll put him in a rookie pile. There we go. That's a good one for Charlie. Chris Sabo. We'll definitely, definitely get a hold of Charlie, and I will definitely send these ones out to him. be a little more valuable and a little more uh, not valuable how do I want to say a little more personable than some old uh another rookie man this one had three rookies in it this was a pretty good pack back in the day if you were opening this and you got three of these in a row these will be definitely cool to send to Charlie instead of some old um Dave and Buster's cards that you can't do anything with. Man, there's another one. Another. This would have been a really, really good pack. Back in the day of 1992, if you were opening this pack and you got, there was five rookies in this pack so far. You would have been flipping your lid. Yeah, for sure. I'll give him a travel size oil of a lay. Kirby Puckett. Yeah, that would have been a really, really good pack for somebody to open up back in the day. With six rookies in that pack alone. I can see somebody at a card show. Because I remember when I was at that card show the one time and I opened the one card that I needed and found. I was I was a giddy little boy there. Evan Rodriguez, rookie car. Bobby Bordas, George 
Bell. There's that guy again. Daryl Kyle. Bam. Tim Burke. Kurt Schilling. Perez. Fielder. Ozzie Smith. Kind of blowing through these and missing these reds for Charlie. Reds for Charlie. Reds for Charlie. So when we got home from our adventure today, just looking around on good old social media, and I found out that Monroe is doing their first Renaissance Festival this year. So that should be pretty campy and corny and cheesy, something I might do a live stream from. We have a really good Renaissance Festival up way up north in Michigan. Ah, there we go. Mark McGuire. That's definitely pre-roids, getting into the roids. <laughs> they have a different renaissance, like an actual renaissance festival that they do. But they do it for like four months, close to four months, every weekend. I think it's up in Holland, Michigan, they call it. But Monroe's going to have a weekend one, so that should be pretty interesting. Billy Dorn, there's another red for Charlie. Tina, Greg Maddox, what a great pitcher Greg Maddox was. Oh, we got two back-to-back -back rookies. Can't even pronounce it. And Darrow Sedonia. And Todd Hundley. Oh, look, we got everybody's favorite. Remember these back in the day when you opened this card up and you got them and you're like, man, the checklist? Who wants a checklist? There's a few smelly people at that festival today, too, let me tell you. And not the good smell. And see, Nunya, with you giving me this package, I can share the content with everybody. We can all sit here and chit-chat. And I'll get to pass them on to another Mafia member. And they can enjoy them as well, too. Yeah, they are really nice. Like I said, they're good, high-glossy pictures. Paul Azemacher. I definitely remember him. This is right around the era, too. Man, I remember a lot of the Cubs, a lot of the Atlanta Braves, because we got cable when we had cable in the area. And we got TBS, Turner Broadcasting Network, and we got um, WGN, which was um, Chicago Cubs. So that's why I know a lot of the Cubs and the Braves players. Yeah, we got another checklist. Throw that in the mix. I know they're not worth nothing, but they're kind of cool to have. Hey, there we go. There's the man. I don't think that's a rookie card, is it? No, it's one year away from his rookie card. But there's the man. Big Hurt, Frank Thomas. My favorite player. I'm going to keep him in the good pile anyway, just in case. No, Thomas. I remember him. Look at old Thomas. He's a horror. I don't think back in the day these guys could get any, like, approval on their picture. He definitely wouldn't have uh, wanted that one on there. Jay Bell. Benito Santiago. I definitely remember him. Willie McGee, there's Mr. E.T. again. Jesse Barfield. Any of these guys? Nope. All right, we're good there. wonder how much these sold for back in the day, a pack. 
Because these, I think these might have been like premium. Not premium, but like, not like tops. Because I remember tops cards used to be the cheapest back in the day. Another rookie card. Joel Johnston. Definitely don't remember him at all. Put him over there. Brian Harper. Jordan. Jose Offerman. I remember Jose Offerman. Barry Larkins. Another great player. That's a Charlie one right there for sure. These are kind of cool too because it's got Cleveland Indians on them. Dean Palmer. I remember Dean Palmer. Doubt that that card's really, really worth anything. Because I don't think he amounted to much, but you go in the rookie pile too. Ken Griffey Jr., but it's not the the rookie card Ken Griffey Jr. like that one. There's an air card. Hmm. I'll have to keep a lookout for that one too. Or go back and check them out after the live stream and go through them all. Trying to watch the camera and watch the cards. It's hard to do sometimes, but... That's got to be worth something. I mean, look at Griffey Jr. card. Put him in the pile over there. Kelly Gruber. Mark Grace. Definitely remember Mark Grace. Pete Harnish. Dave Cohn. Mike Mussina. Man, we've seen a couple of him. Let's see if I can scroll through here and grab him. Wasn't the Mike Mussina a rookie? I think he was a rookie. Hang on. Let me check. Ugh. Yeah, Mike Mussina. Now, nope, this one says Mike on it. I thought I had a couple of those. Let me see. No, that one says Mike on it too. Well, anytime I come across those, I'll definitely take a look and see. It is still cool, Alyssa. This is still fun to do. Lenny Dykstra. I love that uniform. I love that color combination. Oh, Rap Dibble. There's another red. Jeff Blouser. Oh, there's a new one. A gold glove card. A gold glove in the corner here. 18 of 25. Cool. Put you over here. I think this is the era that they started doing the whole foil stamping thing on everything, too. I remember this is about the time that Upper Deck started doing the whole ho ho holographic printing on their cards, too, for authentication. Shoot, nowadays, some of those cards that they have in here, some of those newer cards you can get, they have, like, pieces of equipment, pieces of the player's jerseys that you can get inside of them. It's crazy what they put in cards these days. Another red for Charlie. Ah, David Justice. I remember Dave Justice. What's the... When did they change his name? Dave Justice. He went by David Justice. I thought. 
But he's another great player. Rich DeLuca. There's a rookie. Killer stash, bro. That's a thick mustache. Look at that guy. How you doing? Don't mind my caterpillars. Joe Carter again. Dunstan, Xavier Hernandez. Vince Coleman. Ah, Daryl Strawberry. Again. Decker. Lee Smith. And I know we got some doubles. Ooh. I know we definitely got some doubles in here coming up. Oh. What's hanging, Jag? How you doing, buddy? Jaguars here. Say hello, everyone. Victor Tomlin. Tom Foley. Bartlett. Mike Labari. Thomas Howard. Sure, I'm not missing any reds. Todd Stottlemyre again. I was saying, I know we've got a few doubles out here, but man, there's a lot of baseball players. Gary Sheffield, he's another great player. Scott Livingston, rookie card. We'll go into the Tigers mix. Carlton Fisk, another great player. And the last one is Mike Devereaux. Oh. Jag had a rough day today. <laughs> He's still recovering from his sickness and we walked quite a bit today. A little bit farther than we probably should have walked, but we got our steps in today, everyone. Steve Finley. Dwight Gooden. Doc Gooden. I remember that was his nickname. Another checklist. But yeah, Dwight Doc Gooden. A really, really good pitcher back in the day. Bob Welsh, Tim Green, Darren Lewis, Jose Cueto. Another Jose. Two Jose's in a row. Ben Harris. Lance Parrish. Still kills me to see Lance Parrish and not a Tiger uniform. Uh, Matt Noakes again. Definitely seen a lot of Matt Noakes on here. <laughs> no, it isn't a great time. And we really didn't stop a lot today. We just kept going. And right off the bat, got another Dave Justice card. David Justice. Rob Deer. Oh, there we go. Another Tony Gwynn one. Oh, it's three of ten. The older picture of Tony Gwynn there. No, plus being a big boy like you, Nanya. Five mile sprint. And the one thing we didn't and get think about was going up hills because there's a lot of uphills that you got to go through there. And that one uphill, first battle uphill was super, super rough. Reggie Jefferson, rookie card. There we go. There's a great old player. Definitely haven't seen uh, him at all. Uh, 
Thanks, Andrew. Thanks for uh, popping in here, at least. If I do get it, I'll put some pictures of it, some good ones, and then um, I'll go through later on, too, and I'll put some values of what maybe some of these cards are in the Discord so everybody can check that out. Ricky Anderson. Man, nobody will ever beat this guy's base steel records. He still holds them to this day. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. World record cards here. Yeah, look at that. Another one there for Charlie. Dave Justice. Hey, right, we're getting down. We're about halfway down here. Still have not seen that rookie card yet. Berto Alomar. He was another really, really good player. Paul Asimacher again. Lozano. Daryl Boston. I think we officially have all the checklists. Pretty close, anyway. Dave Valley. Another big hurt card. He will go over there, buddy. Thomas, the her guy again, her, Jake Bell, Benito, another rookie card there. Terry Pendleton, that was another good player. I did, I have the junior, but I thought the junior card that I saw online was like a close-up picture of him. Because there's a Ken Griffey Jr. right there. But it doesn't have the rookie thing on it. But it did these cards just come out in 92? So they're him? Not really sure. I do have, like I said, I have an app. I will definitely look it up in the, on my app later. I'll scan these cards and find out for sure. But I'm pretty sure it kind of looked like that. I don't know. Could have been looking at the wrong one. But who knows? It'll be a it'll be a fantastic discovery for everybody when we finally find out what they're worth. But we are just having fun. Hanging out. Reminiscing about old days of baseballs and seeing if we can remember any of these players. Shane Mack, Terry Steinbrenner, Cicero again, Joe Oliver, Linky, another Von Rodriguez. Got like four or five of him so far. Kia, Jay Brewer, Pat Portis, George Bell, that guy again. Tim Burke. Double check, make sure there was no reds. Yep, there was a red I went past. What are you doing here? You don't belong here. See? There you go. Not keeping stuff organized. I just sent Charlie a bunch of random cards. There we go. Reds, reds, reds. Reds, reds, reds. You all go up here. Pretty sure that was it. Okay. Uh, I think that was a Tiger's first loss today, wasn't it? If not, only their second. The Tigers are doing pretty good. But you do lose to Oakland, which is not good. <laughs> Ron Darling. Daryl Dalton. Carl Daniels, another red for Charlie. Dude looks like an extra from Major League.
There you go. That's a good topic. What's everybody's favorite baseball movie while we're opening baseball cards here? Another gold glove card. Seventeen of twenty-five. Ah, those are second. They lost to the Mets. Jay Olerud, Ray Sanchez. He is a rookie card. You can see a little rookie thing. Greg Biggio, Howard Johnson. I remember him just because it was always funny that he had the same name as a hotel. But I do love the pinstripes. Pinstripes are awesome. Yeah, Major League is probably one of my favorites. <laughs> well, if it makes it easier to create, you can break it down to a top three. Weird how some of these are twisted and turned. Rob Kelly, Rob Deer, you're a tiger, you go over there. Reggie Jefferson, rookie, seen you, you go here. Uh, Cecil Fielder for sure. Yeah, it kind of sucked when they tore that stadium down. I did get to go to that one a couple times before they actually tore it down in my younger days. But unfortunately with everything, there's got to be progress. There's got to be bigger, badder. I have not been to the... Ford Field, the Lions' new stadium yet. I did get a chance to go to the Silver Dome a few times. David Howard, rookie card right off the bat. You gotta love the old English D. That is one of the better logos. There's Jose Canseco again. We'll put you aside. I know you're not worth too much, but we'll never know. We'll look you up and see. Billy Hatcher for Charlie. Yeah, I love the old English D logo. I love the old school tiger logo with the tiger helmet. I uh, like that one here. Tiger face. That's a great old school logo there. Key, Danny Jackson, Luis Gonzalez, Easter, Ruben Sierra. Those are cool. Those were cool logos back in the day. Expos. Expos aren't even around anymore, are they? Another Jose Canseco. Well, now that we've got like five of these Jose Cansecos, I really don't think they'd be worth too much. Patrick McDonald. Another Billy Hatcher for Charlie. Charlie, you're going to get a lot of doubles, bro. Maybe you can do something with them. Tommy Glavin. Rafael Palmero. Key, Jackson, Kevin Nussler, Ruben Sierra, Tomlin, Tom Foley. Those are great uniforms. That's a shame. Washington Senators, huh? All right, let's see here. Tony Phillips, Tiger. Take you. 
Ozzy Guillen, Leo Gomez, Tony Pena. I remember Tony Pena. Mark Lewis, Jim Eisenreich, Skip Poulos, another Mark McGuire, Tommy Green, Dan Havier, and another Charlie Card, Braves, Mike Rico, and Martinez. Well, we got quite a pile here. And let's see. Few more or a few more packs left. Like seven or eight of them so far we got left. I appreciate everybody who's hanging out. Appreciate everybody who's here. For those of you who are here, who's turning in, we are opening a full box of 1992 Flare Ultra Series 1 baseball cards sent to us by our good friend and our Mustard Mafia, Nunya. He thought it would be really cool since he saw me open up a pack of baseball cards for opening day to do a box opening. And why not? A box opening is pretty cool. I've never done a full box opening on my channel, so this is the full first box opening. Cheeto Martinez. Oh, I've got a couple rookies coming out of here, so there's another rookie. Definitely haven't seen that one. I'm going to give big... Oh, Roger Clemens. There we go. Big shout out to Nunya for sending this to me. I appreciate it. Glad we can sit here and share this together. Mustard Mafia is a Discord group that we are in. We help support individual creators, independent creators, anybody who likes to do anything, streaming, hang out. Do a lot of arcade stuff, but sometimes I like to do a little thing, a little something different, and this definitely is something different, and I greatly appreciate Nunya for helping me out with this. Roger Clemens. That's a cool card. Roger Clemens was another great pitcher. The Rocket. That guy again. Another rookie of him. Brian Harper. Mike Galargo. Jordan Jose Offerman. Barry Larkin. Bam. Brian Hunter. That Dean Palmer rookie again. There's another Ken Griffey Jr. Yeah, if you guys do like what you're seeing here, hit that like button. Um, I will put this out there. I do have a Venmo account. If anybody would like to contribute to the channel, maybe purchase some more boxes. We can do some more box openings. You can hit that up on my profile, on the YouTube profile. Never required. I just greatly appreciate anybody who helps to support great content. And while you're there, you can also check out, we have a link to the Mustard Mafia page, or you can just check out mustardmafia.com. That is a website that was created by another one of our great members, Critical. Super Wizard Man with the computer created us a whole website that links all of the creators that are in the Mustard Mafia. It's just a couple simple, quick little clicks, and it'll lead you to right to everybody's pages. If you guys like video games, crafting, uh, arcades, um, we do it all on there. Chuck Finley, yes, Critical is legend. Blows my mind how you can do that stuff so quick, man, and make it look so good. That's something in my end that I would have to probably either have somebody else do for me or get on Fiverr and have somebody try and do it for me. But, man, you just blew that together like nothing. It's super appreciated for everybody. Talking. Got to make sure I don't have, miss any reds. Ah, that looks like a painful shot. Look at that guy. His expression on his face. Ah, I missed the ball. <laughs> Carlos Quentin. Yeah, Crit does have a Snorlax guy. 
Jag's got a giant Snorlax in his bedroom. Was it probably like at least maybe four foot by four foot? It's four foot tall by four foot wide. It's gigantic. I think I did. I think he was in the living room the time I did the house tour, but I'll get another picture of it and I'll put it in the Discord for sure. This thing's gigantic, Crit. It's probably one of the biggest plushies, licensed Pokemon plushies I've ever seen. I think, what did you put, like a bag and a half, almost two bags of uh, beanbag filler in it to make them even bigger? It's massive. Julio Franco, Harold Reynolds. I remember Harold Reynolds. He was a good player. Here we go. Got another gold go gold glove card here. <laughs> All right. Before I get off, before we get off the stream here, I'll grab the camera and I'll go show you Snorlax. Mark Lancaster, Steve, Ryan Sandberg, Rhino. Another good Cub player. Jeff Bagwell. What another good player he was. I love those Astros. Man, that's, a, that's a crazy old school one, but I love the old school Astros logo with the star across the chest. That's really cool. Dave Magadan. Nolan Ryan. I was waiting to get one of these ones. Yeah, two and a half bags of stuffy filler to stuff this thing out fully like it should be. Zane Smith, Delano DeShield, Kevin Bass, Pedro Guerrero, John Smith. Jag is a pretty big Pokemon fan. They got into it really, really young when they were kids. Oh. So he's always been a huge Snorlax fan. Mike Maddox. Gary Gaietti. Jeff Treadway. Jose Vasquez. Kevin Moss. BJ Serhoff. Mickey Tettleton, there's a tiger that I haven't seen in a while. Yeah, you did, Crit. I'll have to show Jag. Sam Horn, Mike Greenwell, George Brett. He's a good player. I don't think we've seen any George Brett cards. Another great player from back in the day. Old school grind player. Just imagine what the salaries were back then for these guys. These are the stars here. Like, George Brett was a star. Nolan Ryan was a star. Their salaries back in the day couldn't even touch what these salaries are. Ken Harbach, I remember him. Dave Hurts. Yeah. He did charge the mound because he used too much pine tar on his bat. The good old pine tar rule. You can only have the width of home plate on your pine tar, and he had too much. I remember them measuring that. Terry Mulholland, Mike Sharpson, Paul O'Neill, there's another red for Charlie. Greg Olson, Russell, Bailey, Berto Alomar. He was a great player. Paul Azamacher. Another checklist. Dave Valley. Another big hurt card. Kurt Manwaring. Pretty big pile of cards there. It's definitely giving me the bug to want to do this again for sure. 
doesn't even have to be baseball. It could be anything. I just like opening the cards up. Another Barry Bonds card. Put you over there. Crime Dog, Fred McGriff. Chuck Finley. Jim Smoltz. Matt Williams. Oh, yeah. Mullins. Rick Vaughn. Alan Trammell. Yay! There you go. I was waiting for an Alan Trammell card. Yeah, Carlton Fisk. I think I got a Carlton Fisk card through here. I don't remember if I did or not, but yeah, it's definitely an old school card. Alan Trammell. What a great player. Another great, great Tiger player. Mulligan. Jack Clark. Albert Bell. He was another good player. Babcock. Scott Erickson. Another great pitcher. We have one, two, three. We have three packs left, everyone. Greatly, greatly appreciate everybody who stuck with it so far. We're about an hour in. Figured it was going to take a little over an hour, plus with some chit-chatting here and there. Greatly, greatly appreciate everybody who is tuning in. Who has tuned in? Thank you again to Nunya for donating the box of cards here. So we could do a little hangout and unboxing, unopening, whatever these you want to call it, of these classic 1992 baseball cards. Got Roger Clemens right off the bat on the bottom there. Kelly Downs. Omar Alvarez, Mike McClendon, Tony Gwynn. You figure if they're doing the whole thing with Tony Gwynn, his card might be worth something in this series. Unwrapping. There you go. <laughs> oh. Luis Polonia, Mike Stanton, Trevor Wilson, Don Mattingly. Mustache, another great old school player. Sporting the mullet. Paul Molitor. It looks like we got another commemorative card. Here you go, Cecil Fielder. Here's the man. Asher, thanks for joining us. We're down to our last two packs coming up here pretty soon, but we just did a whole uh, box break of 1992 Flair Ultra cards. Hey, here we go. Pretty cool. Put you up here. Tony Gwynn commemorative series card. That's number four of ten. And got Lance Johnson. Cheeto Martinez rookie card. Don't remember your name very much, buddy, so I don't think you amounted to too much. And finished off with the Roger Clemens. Bang, bang, bang. There's a lot of cards. <laughs> I'm waiting for one of the cats to come around here and knock it off because they're super curious about what's going on. And every time they hear me do this with a thing, they think they're getting treats. But, all right. Last two. So before we get to the last two, I do want to give another shout out to the Mustard Mafia. That is our Discord page. You can check us out on mustardmafia.com. That'll give you a link to everything. Once again, another big, big shout out to Nunya for helping us out with this today. Big thank you to everybody in the Mustard Mafia for everything that they do. Thank you, Cat, if you're still here for your cat attack today. And Nunya, thank you for your donation today. Me and Jag enjoyed some really, really good Chinese food at a place we never went to before. So that was cool. Look at that guy's face. If I was a baseball player, I definitely would want to have the okay to say, no, you can't use that picture. 
Even though those dudes' guns are huge. Dave Stewart, he was another great pitcher. Charlie Hayes. Ramon Martinez, he was another really, really good pitcher back in the day. Not a grant. Terry Matthews rookie card. Not really sure who he was, but we'll go there. There we go. There's the man. Randy Johnson. One of the greatest pitchers in baseball, but unfortunately the man will always be remembered for one thing, and we all know what that one thing is if we follow any baseball. Killing that damn bird with that fastball. Still one of the craziest clips and things in history and timing that I think anybody will ever see is somebody throwing a baseball and hitting a bird and killing it. Put you over here. There we go. Got a nice golden glove there. Roberto Alomar. Another great player. It's number 20 of 25. Here we got Manny Lee and Les Lancaster. Bang. All right, everybody. This is the last pack. The last, last pack. Been really cool hanging out with you all. Hope you guys like this. Hope I kept you somewhat entertained. Tried to make it not so just opening cards and... Wondering if they're valuable or not. Nice. There we go. Royce Clayton rookie card right off the bat for the last card. Last pack, not last card. Ryan Lankford. Orlando Mercedes. Tony Fernandez. Skoloff. The Carl Ripken Jr. card. Put you over there. Chico Walker, Roberto Kelly, Rob Deere card again. I knew it. Sometimes it feels like they stick together. I'm going to have to go back and check them all through, too. Hannon, Chris Hollins, Joe Henskin. And then we finish off with a Reggie Jefferson rookie card. Bang. Well, that does it, everybody. I got me some Tigers, old school 92 Tiger players to try and make some kind of collage out of. That'll be super fun to try and do. And then we got a nice little stack here for our good buddy, Charlie. You know, Charlie's either probably working or I think he said he does have to work on Saturdays, but hopefully he gets this in the Discord. Or, uh, he'll have to check this out later on, but we'll send those out to Charlie here. I know he'll appreciate those. Those will go nice with his little uh, collection here. And I know I did get the one card of his favorite player. Where is he? Chris Sabo card. I know he'll like that one for sure. Oh, thanks, guys. Like I said, I don't even mind if it's... I doesn't have to be sports related or anything if i can find like when i did the uh, uh star wars dog tag things so we did get a pretty decent pile here of some either rookies or special cards so i'll definitely have to go through these and check the value of them and see just for shits and giggles see how much they are worth if there's anything that's halfway decent or anything worth value on there, I'll definitely, I'll take some pictures and I'll put it up in the Discord for everybody. Who knows? I may even do like a quick little video, like a, maybe a slideshow of the values and then I'll post them up on the YouTube channel. But we will definitely do something and I'll let you guys know if there is anything cool on it. I can tell Jack I'm going to do this real quick, so let's go in here real quick. Man, I can definitely feel the miles that we walked today, but where is it at? All right, critical. 
There he is. That is a giant Snorlax. Comes up to right about a little over my waist. But he's beefy. He's a beefy, beefy boy. <laughs> and it's definitely heavy too. It's not going anywhere. Jack's got his room set up pretty cool. He's got some. But, all right. There's the Snorlax. You guys got to see the Snorlax. All right. I hope everybody enjoyed uh, the stream today. A quick little look here. My setup I got going here. Do what you got to do. Got a nice little letter box here from uh well not a letter box like a display box from ollie's one of nunya's favorite stores had a cool little light strip up here at one point Boing. but the light strip broke on it up here so he's got a little lamp hanging out there but, all right everybody greatly greatly appreciate everybody showing up thank you again Thank you again to Nanya for giving me this box set here. We just opened up a whole box of 1992 Flare Ultra Series 1 cards. Got a nice little stack here. We'll have to go through and double check and make sure there's nothing really worth too much on here. And I got some Tiger players. And we got some good ones for Charlie. No problem, guys. Thanks for everybody tuning in. We'll see you on the Discord. Have a good night, everyone.